here are uh, a few clips of the house that I took um, on the Saturday that we went and viewed it. Um, after we viewed it, we decided to take it. I just wanted to show you a quick view of it empty, I guess. This is two days after we moved in and uh, we were working on my workroom um, because I had lots of orders to make. Um, as you can see from the hundreds of boxes that I'd lay down, I have a lot of work to do um, to sort it all out. And that massive ass mattress is not mine, it's the landlord's and he left it here. Hi guys, so it has been nine maybe 10 months since you've heard from me but um, I have just moved house again um, but this time in a better environment an environment that I can video and you know do whatever I want to basically so I'm hoping that I can basically restart YouTube again and show you me uh, a lot more whether you want to see it or not. I wasn't going to uh, film, my, film my face for the first combat video because mainly all I'm doing is moving um, but I just thought I'd do just a just a quick one. I also got a what they call it a microphone. I got it. Um, so that I could do some voiceovers and um, do some podcasts for Patreon, um, etc. So I might do a voiceover for this vlog in certain parts, etc. So I'll give that a go. I've never used a microphone like that before, so see how that goes um it's extremely hot in this room even though it's not hot outside the heating hasn't been on all day because it has been quite a warm day um but i've got a fan on i'm not sure if you can hear it but it is hot in this room um so um that's why my face is a bit red but then again my face is always red so um, yeah, I've got about 600 things to get done right now, do I want to do any? No. Uh, my room, my work room is a mess which is what I'm sitting in right now. Uh, I'm excited to organise it but I'm not because I'm lazy, so it's one of those. I want to do it but I don't want to do it. This room is at least five times as big as what I was in before, so I'm used to having to cramp everything in, whereas I don't have to this time, so, and because I had to cramp everything in, I didn't really give myself proper storage, um, I kind of need that now. So I need to look into buying that, which I don't want to do because that means spending money, which I also don't want to do. And um, there's a lot of stuff on Ikea and then I see other artist shoes that I really, really want. But they're so expensive, so expensive. So it's whatever I want to invest, I guess. I need it, but maybe I could look in to second hand ones. My problem with second hand is, is that I don't drive so I can't go pick it up and a lot of people on Facebook and Gumtree and all that don't like to drop off so there's that my that's an issue for me but I have to see what I can kind of scramble I guess. Um 
yeah uh the at the moment i'm trying to concentrate on patreon a bit more um i've switched around patreon quite a lot recently i'm trying to find a balance that works for me but you still get the goods if that makes sense um i was doing a lot of work i guess and it just wasn't really working i wasn't really pulling anybody in etc so after kind of researching asking people who audio who are also on patreon um and seeing what they do and see what works i know it's different for everyone but it seems that a lot of artists have seem to have the same type of structure and same type of tiers um mine was completely different and it didn't obviously just wasn't working um so i've changed it now to basically exclusive stuff so anything on patreon is patreon excuse exclusive and i'm going to set up a patreon only shop so that they can buy all the exclusive stuff from past months etc and i'm going to be adding the podcasts and lots of uh free digital stuff like um wallpapers coloring pages i'm going to be doing letter sets as well and maybe some other stuff depending on what guys, guys you want etc i really hope this works i i want patreon to work just simply because i want a community not necessarily to work with but i have a discord server and the people on there are just great and we've become a right little knit community and i like i like that a lot and i get a, some help when it comes to work and stuff and that's what i want for patreon um but more if that makes sense like patreons get to see exclusive stuff on discord as well but mm, pretty much nobody on patreon is on my discord so i don't really post anything because there's nothing to nobody there to see it if that makes sense so i don't know so one of those, i'm trying to balance and find out what works for me and what works for you at the same time which is very difficult when you don't have a lot of patrons in the first place to tell you what what will work and what they want um there's a lot of stuff i want to do like uh, drawing your own style but i don't have enough patrons to make that that work um so that's something i want to strive to i also want to do different types of stickers like glitter stickers holographic stickers clear stickers stuff like that um but it's quite an investment so i need a lot of people including patreon to be able to do it etc 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 you get me so yeah yeah i don't know that was probably not all the stuff i wanted to say um god i'm sweating so bad i'm going to i don't even know what time it is actually i think it's oh it is half seven in the afternoon a bit late but we've been working on the bedroom and the workroom today so i've got orders i need to get sorted which is difficult without any internet right now i have no internet um until next wednesday um it's the 17th of july today by the way just in case you wanted to know uh i've got no internet until next wednesday uh the signal here is shockingly bad so even if with my mobile internet i've got like a lot of it uh, part of my contract so I ain't scared to use it but the problem is there's no signal here I struggle to even get one bar at times and I'm trying to post stuff on pa 
Patreon and stuff like that, like behind the scenes of me moving and such like that. And it's taken me like 20 to 30 minutes to post a post. And then half the time I give up. And then half the other time I walk around the whole house holding my phone up going, please like, please like. Praying to the god, the phone gods. Um. So yes, yeah, so it's, it's stressing me out. There's stuff I need to buy for work, like badge parts, uh, packaging stuff, which I didn't buy before I left because with postage being a bit, you know, here and there at the moment, I wasn't sure if it would get to the old address in time or if it would get to the new address too, a new address too early and nobody would be here to accept the package. So I thought, oh, I'll wait till I move. Did not know that the internet wouldn't be working because we got a little, what's it? I don't know what it's called. A box that gives you internet. Um, but because the signal is so bad, the wireless internet basically doesn't work. Um, so we actually wait for somebody to actually come and do the actual box. So yeah, I forgot what I was saying now. See, oh, no, I don't remember. It's gone. So I'm going to sign off here, I think. I have no idea what I filmed. So, enjoy what you see. And I hopefully will be doing more stuff thank you for watching this and any of my previous ones um i'm hoping they'll be a little better my editing skills haven't got any better since the last one so pff, don't expect anything better than what was before but i'm hoping the content will be better that i will be better i am already feeling a lot more relaxed here than at all the other places so I'm hoping that will show um, compared to my other ones I guess so fingers crossed eh? fingers crossed yeah so I keep zoning out I'm so tired I'm sorry I keep zoning out right right I will speak to you later thank you for watching goodbye So I had a lot of lanyard orders to get through and uh, not long after I moved in. So I decided to try and make something to display them so they're easy to get hold of. When you've got 40 orders of lanyards and they were in a, um, what's it called, like a little box. And they were in separate bags so I had to go through each bag and pull out the ones that I needed. And it was, uh, let's just say... Um, I wouldn't say stressful, it was just very inconvenient, so considering we won't be doing any conventions anytime soon, I decided to use my convention um, things, as you can see from the grids and the little hooks, uh, trying to think what I use them for now, uh, 
the grid was for the whole table the hooks was for charms da, 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 da. oh sticker sheets but I don't think I was doing that anymore um, but I can't remember to be honest it's been that long uh, but yeah so it seems to work really well I can only fit so many but I have some more coming so I'm gonna have to put another cube on top I wanted to hang it on a wall um, but I didn't want to hang it on the wall because if I keep getting more designs I'm gonna want to kind of hike it up a bit more if that makes sense so it's difficult so I think I'm gonna wait until I've got some of the other designs because I'm not sure how many more I will do it depends on the design will depend on if they sell I mean my Animal Crossing and my Ghibli ones sell really well and the ghost Pokemon sell really well whereas the others don't don't sell as well they're a lot slower to sell so I'm not too keen on the idea of buying more designs when not knowing if they're gonna sell or not well as you can see in the corner that's the box so in some Disney dogs, pink Pokemon, Evolutions, Mareep and Wooloo, mostly Wooloo though, there's birds in there as well, burps, so yeah this is located next to my desk now and it's staying there for a while until I figure myself out I guess
stay here until the next open door. Yep. That's really when It's the 29th today. When? Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> um, I'm just, I've got a up shop update on Friday. I have some stickers and a one charm, which is this bad boy. So I was just going to quickly show you what, what I've got. Those need to be cut out. So you got, I think his name is Leonardo Watch or something like that. Uh, Mimikyu. You got the Pokemon starters. Just the three for now. Um, the, the new sharks. Um, I already cut and printed the other cats. It's just it was just the new one I needed to do. Uh, and then you got the Kingfisher and the Pangolian or something like that. Oh, I'm not very good at pronouncing. Then we got the Polar Bear and the Penguin, some Overwatch heads, and Nicket and Pokemon. Um, yeah, I think that's all the stuff I'll be having for the shop update. Uh, I probably should have had more, but I didn't really give myself enough time. To be fair, uh, these charms are limited edition since Zap won't be doing this pink colour anymore. The back, the acrylic pink. They had a sale on, which is why I got some. I also got some some rose gold stars um yeah so i only have i think 25 of these and then that's it they'll literally be never ever ever anymore ever 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 um i can't imagine these selling so i'm gonna put them up it's that half and half where you do you put them up for cheap to get rid of because of the design and it's not a popular design or do you go for the whole or oh, it's limited edition you can never get get them again and you put the price up as normal i don't know i'll figure it out i guess but yeah so this is all i've just sat and cut all these out today I'm just gonna cut those out and then i'm gonna sit and take photos of everything and then spend the rest of the day putting listings up for Etsy and listings up for my website. Um, I think that's it for Friday for today. There's some stuff I wanted to do for pins and that, enamel pins, that I wanted to. sort out so I might do that today as well oh so loud mm, no work my machine does this every single time so I have to manually make it scan in the correct place and boom, it works. It's just a pet, an extra step. Which is a pain in the butt. Anyway. Whee! <laughs> so, I'm making orders. As you can see, this beautiful mess, and <clears throat> just cut all this out. And then my silhouette started doing this weird thing, and I was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing?" And 
I mean, why? Why did it feel the need to cut out this little section? I rechecked the file and it was it's not on there. <clears throat> I've been cutting out all morning, not a problem, and all of a sudden, I think it's protesting. It's so hot today. Shall we peel this? The doggo won't leave your side. Ignore the mess of said room. She's been here all day with me. She won't leave. It's quite hot up here as well. You need to go downstairs into the cold. Mm -hmm. She goes, no thank you mommy, no thank you.